Morgans. Damn, yo, Kayla really don't do that. Okay, okay, Kayla. I bet. I, I bet. <coughs> Move the microphone. All right, so check this out. Movie one, right? We do have. Oh, let me just. I'm. It's easier if I just do this. Now we do have a Senna, Ganryu, Ichigo. Uh, Kusaka, Toshiro, and Yin and Yang. Movies 1 and 2 are going to be available as a character pack. Now, a lot of people were saying, oh yeah, we're going to get this. Yo, of course they're going to get this. They're getting, they got resurrected. They must be getting a character pack. False. All right. Caleb could have easily been like, you know what? Let's make these resurrections good, which they did. Right. Movie 1, Ichigo, full stamina damage boost. Uh, devastation. If Berserker 20%, Berserker 20%, uh, the strong attack uh, recharge as a link since he was originally just strong attack damage. You know what I'm saying? They gave him Flurry. They, they no. <laughs> and uh, Yin and Yang. I, I, don't, I don't even remember what they got. It was so like meaningless that it doesn't even matter. However, Caleb did actually start coming out with them as character packs. Now, I hope that y'all saved your orbs uh, for this Rukia banner, because I know that some people wanted to get, um, some people definitely wanted to get this Rukia, and with the opportunity of getting Kokuto, Rukia's individual banner is a lot more, uh, let, let's just say that this banner it looks a lot more attractive knowing that you could get Kokuto or Rukia, and you know, worst case scenario, you might get Nell or Kisuke, or super worst case scenario, you get Mind Eisen, right? But, like, the fact that you can actually pick up Kokuto from a character pack, mm, it, it's safe to assume now, with there being uh, movie one and two becoming character packs, safe to assume that you can actually pick these guys up. Um, the movies three and four later on and uh, movie four Ichigo did get flurry movie four Kokuto did get uh, <clears throat> Excuse me uh, did get havoc 20% uh, We're not sure what dark rookie is gonna get. I don't even think that she's getting a resurrection just yet uh, dark oh, oops. Characters a Dark Rukia. Yeah, okay, so so we don't have uh um, resurrection is, but it's safe to assume that this character, this character is probably gonna get resurrected, and he's pro she's probably gonna get something good too. Uh, we did get the banner for the uh, Bankai Shinji banner. It looks pretty. Yeah, it looks okay, cause like at least you have six Camp Your Own World characters. There's no 1.5 percent disappointment, but you do still have White Ichigo in there, <laughs> which is pretty disappoint disappointing in and of itself. Uh, okay, so with these characters getting character packs, I'm not sure if these are going to be available um, with the monthly pack or whatever, like the character collectors where you get like pick three um, and then one gets spit out at you. If that's the case, like getting these characters five out of five is actually very, very likely because you can just like constantly put one of the characters that you want here inside that little rotation and then hope maybe in 12 months, 15 months or whatever, like you'll pull multiple 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 copies of that character so if you plan on summoning on these um individual banners which uh rukia and no kogoto and kusakas are already gone uh i'd say save don't don't summon for kogoto unless you're like purchase banned and um yeah i mean it, uh, damn dude <laughs> being purchase banned is like really rough right now um yeah anyways uh, that, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, the fact that these guys are getting uh, character packs, I do actually want to bring up Thousand Year Blood War. The fact that these characters are getting character packs, and if they get into the character collector's pass or whatever, like the the pack that you get once a month or whatever, this could this could be really good. Cause like if Thousand Year Blood War gets resurrected, which I think that. It, uh, I, I feel like with the movie banners, I feel like Thousand Year Blood War is likely to be up for consideration that it'll get resurrected. It'd be cool to see that, like resurrected uh, Byakuya, Toshiro, Shunsu, and Sajin, and these characters were released um, 
No, like it actually tells me right here. Uh, September 30th, 2017. And if they actually end up getting a character pack like a month after their resurrection, I don't know. Honestly, when these characters get, resur get resurrected, my recommendation is unless like you're trying to go for them five out of five or something. No, not even. I wouldn't even say that. If these characters ever get resurrected and then they get put into a banner soon after, my honest recommendation is going to be just skip it. Like, skip it and hope that we get a character pack. If we get a character pack, then you can scoop it up for like 25 bucks, call it a day. And even if you're free to play, like, even if these characters are pretty busted, it's it would still be my recommendation to not use orbs on them because chances are you're better off using your orbs on something else. So if you can cough up like 25 bucks, which it is a lot of money for a mobile game at the end of the day, it is a lot of money. But if you can save yourself like having to accidentally go in 2200 orbs oh, and like wasting like a month or two months of you farming orbs and hoping to like go for like the pull selection banner or anniversary. I, I'll never, I'll, I'll never understand why, why people are so like crazy against being pay to play. But I mean, it is what it is. It's your prerogative. Like, if, if you're gonna be spending hours and hours like farming BBS, but you're too proud to spend four dollars for the, um, the the ch the cheaper passport that gives you a crap ton of soul tickets, plus it gives you time six runs and then a twenty percent uh, soul ticket recharge. It it just, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird to me because but like uh, I mean I guess some people are against like spending time on the game and spending money on the game because then you're kind of doing double which uh, eh, I mean I guess it is what it is but either way I did want to just uh, cover that we are getting character packs on the movie banners which I do think is actually pretty hype um, personally I'm probably going to be picking up um, yin and yang as well as um, I'll, I'll probably have pick up Toshiro uh, like, like, but the thing is it's like do I actually want to buy the character packs or do I want to just like use the characters collectors pack edition and then just throw them in there and hope that I eventually get them over time because then um, I feel I feel like that might just be the, the way to go but I'm gonna leave it that you guys grind I'll catch up with me say blessed like comment and subscribe if you hope you enjoyed this video we finally got confirmation 100% that we are getting character packs I see a lot of people confirming I don't like confirming until it's confirmed right like I don't I'm, I'm not gonna say yo we're definitely getting it. No, I'll say it's likely that we're getting it it's possible that we're getting this but the fact that these are movie banners collab stuff i'm actually really shocked that caleb's doing character packs um someone did bring up that they did do tickets uh paid tickets back in the day it was like uh, 25 bucks for a 40 percent chance to get a movie character but this is 100 percent you're guaranteed to get the character that you're paying money for so i think that it's worth it if like considering you know what you're getting right i, I think it'd be worth uh, scooping up just because these are collab units normally i don't care for recommending character packs and stuff like that but i mean it is what it is. If you're already paying for the collector's pass or whatever that you get um, one character pack uh, at, chosen at random every month, um, you can probably skip this and, and not care about it. Just care about your rainbow move source and then hopefully you'll get one of these characters uh, once every three months depending on how you um, cycle in your character pack uh, rotation, right? But I'm going to leave it at that. Stay blessed, y'all. Y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.